What's up guys, my name is Mr. Green and in this video I'm going to be talking about Jay Roach's 2019 film Bombshell. So Bombshell came out last year in 2019 and stars Nicole Kidman, Charlize Theron, Margot Robbie, Kate McKinnon, John Lithgow, and special guest star Malcolm McDowell. Now in this video I'm going to be reviewing the movie, talking about what's good, talking about what's bad, then I'm going to be reviewing the Blu-ray that I have right here. Talking about what's good about this Blu-ray, what, how it sounds, what, what it looks like, um, the packaging and all that, and let's get into it. So right off the bat, aside from probably like Marriage Story, The Lighthouse, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, this is probably the most well-acted film of the last year. Margot Robbie is the standout of the film. I did not think she'd give a, as good a performance as she did, but she was the highlight. Honestly, um, she deserved that Best Supporting Actor nomination, and if Lauren Dern was nominated, I would say she should have won. Um, Charlize Theron and Nicole Kidman are also really good in the film. Kate McKinnon is also good in the film, obviously. And John Lithgow, um, that was evil. He was evil. I mean, seriously, just, just the worst. Something else I want to talk about is the makeup in the film. They do a great job making these actresses look like the real-life people they're portraying. And they also do a really good job integrating them into real-life interviews that they've given. Much like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood last year, they insert the actors into separate footage from another thing. In Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, it was DiCaprio in The Great Escape. This time, it's... Charlie Theron in an interview with Donald Trump, which sadly he was not in the film. So heartbreaking. The score of the film was surprisingly kind of unsettling. That sort of like chant that they have was really like disturbing, honestly. Like it, it got, it, it kind of horrified me, honestly. Much like the scenario that these people were put in. This film was also written and directed very well. They did a really good job with the screenplay, and Jay Roach directed the film pretty well. Another thing is that this film was paced really well. Like, I was not bored for one scene. I was just sitting there all enthralled in what was happening, despite the fact that I actually knew how this would all turn out, unfortunately. But it kept me entertained throughout the whole time, and that is due to the pacing and the editing. This, is, this film's also edited really well. And I like how they use real life interviews with, um, let's say victims of the subject matter in the film. I'd also like to say that this film never felt preachy with its message. There were some scenes where they were kind of hitting you over the head with it, but for the most part, it told it very well, like without reading like a Twitter feed or something. As for flaws, I will say Kate McKinnon was a bit underutilized in the film because she did do a really good job. And John Lithgow, while I do think he did a good job in making you despise the character and the real life person, um, it did seem a bit hammy at times, like a little too over the top. Like I was watching a cartoon or something, like an SNL skit. On, in, on all seriousness, I mean this in the best way possible, this does kind of feel like a very serious SNL sketch in that you have like these famous actors and actresses portraying these real life people and but unlike an SNL sketch it was used you trying to be as real as possible except John Lithgow seemed to take it a bit too like a bit too over the top and it did really start to feel like an SNL sketch not in the best way. So all in all, I will say Bombshell is a really solid movie, and I highly recommend it. I'm going to give it an A-. Now, on for this Blu-ray that I have here. I really like the artwork that they put on front. I don't know why, just something about it. Like, it feels unique, honestly. Um, take a, it's got a slip cover, and the artwork on the inside is the exact same as it is on the outside. What am I... Biggest pet peeves with certain Blu-rays is when you're peeling off, peeling off the paper and it sticks onto the spine. I don't know if that's like happens with all copies of this stuff, but this, this is me personally. I'm docking points just because I got 
paper stuck onto the spine that I can't just, I can't remove. It's just stuck there. And I hate that. Now, for the actual release, I will say it sounded and looked really well. It's, it's just really solid. Like, it's well done. Like, you can, like, see everything looks really nice. There wasn't, like, an ugly shot. The resolution wasn't, like, choppy and it wasn't too grainy. But that's because this isn't shot on film. This is shot on 2K digital. And it looked and sounded, it's, it's looked and sounded really well. Not like a 4K movie, but it, it, it was pretty good. Now, this film comes with a digital copy, which I'm not going to show you because it's mine. And I don't know if it's possible for you to seal it. And it came with a Blu-ray and a DVD, which is always nice. In case if you're somewhere you want to watch it and they don't, for whatever reason, you don't got a Blu-ray player. Or you use your digital copy. Um, that's really nice. The artwork, um, isn't really there, but I do like that there are at least different colors. Unlike the John Wick Blu-ray, where the DVD and the Blu-ray are the exact same. That always kind of bugged me. As for special features, you have, um, No Easy Truths, The Making of Bombshell, seven-part documentary, Convergence, Genesis of the Film, um, Quid Pro Quo, Charlize Theron, Nicole... Kidman, Margot Robbie, and John Lithgow, Human Dynamics, The Ensemble Cast, Breaking the Fourth Wall, Visual Design, Layer by Layer, Makeup, Hair, and Clothing, A Unique Skill Set, Jay Roach, Catalyst for Change, Parting Thoughts, and The Theatrical Trailer. That's, um, that's actually a lot of special features for just a Blu-ray, and I'm really glad that they had all that, because I think this deserves that. Um, I will say... I think this would look really nice on 4K because the film just also felt colorful. Like, it looked really nice. Like, it had really nice colors, and I think it looked really good on 4K. So all in all, this is a really good Blu-ray. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. This is just a solid Blu-ray. I'd pick up the movie just because it's a good release, and it's a good movie. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, more videos right there. Hit subscribe. Like. Share. Dislike, I'm gonna stop saying that because I'm afraid that you will dislike and I don't think that's exactly the best thing for me But anyway, that's it and bye Why am I doing that? I don't get it